My guest today is Jennifer Wadella. Jennifer, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm great. It's a, I'm excited to have you on my show. I'm I remember excited I asked to be on you your like show. a year and a half ago, and then um, uh, you called me, and I didn't hear the phone ring, and uh, and then it was like cost back and forth a year and a half of uh, regret. Regrets. But the story has a happy ending. Here we are. Uh, what do you do? Uh, what do I do? Jesus. Yeah, for, for a living, I mean. Oh, okay. For a living, yeah. um, I am a JavaScript developer at a consulting company called Batovi. Cool. Yes. Uh, you do a lot of Angular development, don't you? Um, I have in the past, which is um, kind of why this new place wanted to pick me up to bring some Angular expertise. But uh-huh. I'm a JavaScript developer, which means I do a little bit of everything. Really? Like, what's your favorite framework? Um, I mean, like, I've been doing the most in Angular lately, but it's been fun to play with React because um, I'm, like, slow kid getting on that bus. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the cool kids are doing React now. Or maybe Whoops. Vue. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. They have done Vue. I would, yeah. So, meh. Um, that's okay. It's, it's, it's no big deal because uh, in the time we finish, by the time we finish, there's three or four new frameworks will have popped up. And that's, that's true. And that's just the life as we've chosen. I was talking about that at a conference. I was actually like, I'm a JavaScript developer, which means I have to learn a new framework more often than I get my period. Oh, <laughs> you went there. You totally went there. I totally went there. It was a women <laughs> conference. So they like loved it. I don't think I've seen that many retweets like ever. Uh, okay. I could probably check, but this is probably the first time that's come up on the show. Um, Do I'll you have a, a word count for vagina yet? Because I could hit that. Yeah, we're at one right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, this is uh, this is fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> fun auditing. Let's editing, get back auditing. to uh, technology. Yeah, no, sorry. Wait a minute. We're, we're, we're good here. Um, I want to talk about Gatsby. And I wrote it down because I'd never heard of it before. I'm I'm not, not one the, of the cool kids not, yet. Not yet. No, but we're going to change that right now. What is Gatsby? Um, so it is a static React site generator. Um, and so like the easiest way to explain is I feel like a lot of people have done personal blogs if they're not using like a CMS like WordPress or something, um, have done uh Jekyll sites, which is just like super easy to spin up uh, via RubyGem, um, Markdown, static, whatever. And so Gatsby is a generator for it, but they've done a lot of work around um, optimizing and performance and SEO. Um, so you can pretty much roll out a blog and be all green on the lighthouse. So it's pretty cool. So it's a, a tool for generating blogs? Uh, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a blog. That's just what I feel like most people do for static sites these days. Okay. Because um, what else is static anymore? Well, define that. What do you mean by static site? Um, static meaning just like uh, not working with, the, well, you can, okay, sorry. Um, static meaning not pulling from a database. So like my blog is just like a bunch of markdown files that I just oh, okay. create and spin up and go. Um, not to say you can't do that with Gatsby. It's perfectly capable, mm. but um, yes, that's where it all right, I get it. So my okay. site is on uh, it's something called Das Blog, which I don't think people use anymore, but uh, it was popular ten years ago. Okay. <laughs> and uh-huh. it, it actually uses XML files out to, as its database, and so it's kind of dynamic. Every time it, I load a page, you have to read this XML file, and find it and read it. And it's kind of slow. Merp. I, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> this was ten years. It works. I would never judge you. <laughs> it's, Just uh, a little bit. It was, uh, and, and it's kind of like reading a database, but it's slow. It has to go through and yep. find. I've got now thousands of blog posts over the last ten years, and mm-hmm. um, the, the the that's that's the that's the reason, right, for a static site mm-hmm. is it's just snappier. Mm-hmm. And what are you using it for? Um, I used it for my personal website, but um, my nonprofit, we might switch our documentation to it. Um, We run a series called Coding in Cocktails, which is a class teaching um, adult women how to code. And we've used Git books in the past, um, which is nice because you can include code samples and like collapse and and do some things that Markdown allows you. But it's just, it's not great. But what I've seen from um, being able to spin up our own doc site in Gatsby and make it really maintainable seems like it would be a good place to go. So walk, walk me through how you create a site using Gatsby. Um, npm install Gatsby. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap. Uh, and then uh, basically what you can do is you can use one of their um, already generated templates. They've got like a ton of stuff that you can filter by based on what tech stack okay, you're so interested in. So like a blog in. post might be one of them. Right? Yeah, so yeah. When you say template, I mean, I think of a Yeah, so like a there's a, page, a blog post a one maybe. or a fancy blog with like an image header or, oh. okay, whatever. Okay. Like if you, um, like it reminds me of Yeoman, if you ever came uh, across that. Uh, what is Yeoman? Um, it was another like um, site generator that people could submit. Like you could do anything from generating like an Angular app to like a full-blown mean app to maybe just an Angular app to Bootstrap or um, I think it was a little bit pre-React, but so okay. people would just submit content like that and then you would clone that. So anyway, mm-hmm. you find okay. whatever you want to start with in Gatsby, um, clone that repo, and then go ahead and start making your changes. And yeah, 
Okay. And then what happens, like a, something like a blog where you're updating it every couple of days? Yep. Uh, d- what, what does that process look like? Um, well, they've got a couple different things built in. Um, for my last website, I had already had it hooked up to deploy via Firebase, so I just stayed with that because um, I didn't want to mess with it. But they actually have built in um, GitHub Pages deployment, which is really nice. So if you don't want to like hassle with Firebase or buying your own domain name, you can just deploy it to a GitHub Pages route. Um, and what, what do you mean by GitHub deploy it to a GitHub Pages route? Do you know GitHub Pages? GitHub Pages, I think, is where you're using the editor for the thing that you usually put the the, the the readme files of GitHub, and you use that to generate your site? Is that? Um, no. I'm totally GitHub wrong. Pages you is basically explain. like hosting. Okay. So, like, for instance, okay, all my talks that I do at conferences, I use Reveal.js, which is a JavaScript library. It creates the slides and everything like okay. that. Um, but ultimately, it just generates an index.html page that right. I run out of the browser. And the cool thing about GitHub Pages is I can... Um, Deploy. It's basically like a special GitHub branch that'll act as hosting and display your website. Oh, okay. Um, and, and then so you put a DNS name to that? No, you don't have to. I mean, you can if you want to, but... Um, it just is under github.com slash something? Well, it's like if you look at the talk I gave today on um, Angular Forms, it's like tefidiken.io, which is my GitHub handle, or mm. tefidiken.github.io slash, and then whatever the repo name is. Oh. And that's where it's... Um, hosted through so and you've probably seen like a lot of like github documentation or libraries that have like their docs on github or probably displaying on github pages and then you can click through to the repo to actually look at the code okay i have not used that it's amazing Uh, (laughs) yes all right, so I, I interrupted you. You're, you're <laughs> talking like, about uh, building this uh, uh, updating. So the, the, it sounds, sounds like npm install, kind of run a wizard, pick yeah. your template, and you're up and running. And yeah. then the main maintenance of it is uh, you, I was, you were in the middle of explaining that. Oh, yeah. So like if I want to publish a new blog post, I'll you know, go ahead and just um, uh, write up a new markdown file and then um, package it up. There's a build command you can run that's going to package everything nicely. Right. Um, run my run my lighthouse test to make sure it's still performing or see if I need to optimize any right, of my images more. There's a lot of command more. line stuff going on here, I see. Well, no, that's not command line. That's me. But, I mean, okay. you could um, integrate stuff like that into it um, and then just go ahead and deploy to whatever you want. So if you do, like, the basic deploy command, they already have it configured to deploy straight to your GitHub pages. So wherever oh. your repo is, it's going to automatically deploy there. Hmm. Um, or you can customize it to do Firebase like I do, or if you want to integrate with like Travis CI or wh- whatever floats your canoe. Uh, so Firebase, I only know as a database, as this is a... Uh, they do hosting too. They will also host. Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't realize that. Yep. Um, and what about, um, have you done anything with um, extending this framework? Um, not much yet. Uh, is it capable of that? Mm-hmm. You know anything about that? No. Okay. All right. We won't yeah. talk about that. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> you mentioned something called Lighthouse earlier. What is that? Yeah. Um, so Lighthouse is basically an audit tool that um, Google put out. So you can access it um, as an extension in your browser if you click Developer Tools. And then I um, can't remember if you have to add it manually or I think it might just be there in Chrome now. Um, and then along the, the tabs along the bottom, if that's where you have your dev tools, there's going to be one that says Lighthouse. Um, and so you can run an audit against your website. And so it's going to test it for, for performance. It's going to test it for accessibility. It's going to um, test it for best practice practices for SEO um, oh. and it's kind of, they've kind of like gamified it it's actually like fun like I'll sit there and like on a Tuesday night and like in between destiny crucible matches be like testing my lighthouse scores and my friends are like what what are you doing and I'm like you can do it too it's fun um, but yeah so it'll um, you know if you get a perfect score on all these you're going to get these nice like green little circles but okay. for every area that you're lagging it'll show you your kind of like a credit score app you know how okay. those look like that's what it's like um and so you can go so through lots and of see. red then you're saying hmm? i'm just kidding like, <laughs> I'm i am green <laughs> i am flawless i was kidding it's do you see these flawless. lashes flawless oh yeah i saw your talk about <laughs> lashes the other day I'm not, <laughs> she gave a talk about lashes the other yes day. we're breaking the fourth wall we should do that uh uh so so oh, that's a fire um what, what are we talking about the um uh the lighthouse super, lighthouse will give us a um uh, a score, basically, how, mm-hmm. how as indicated, how accessible is it, and maybe mm-hmm. some suggestions as to why it's not a hundred percent accessible, and s- scores about how performant it is, and exactly uh, would give reasons why. Yeah, so like, let's say you um, haven't like uh, bundled your JavaScript files, and it's noticing okay. some of these are a lot of time, or it's taking a long time to paint the um, page before it's interactable, uh, interactive, interactable. I've been on like a making up word kick all day, so <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. Um, but so it'll test that or like SEO if you're missing, um, you know, header tat or like stuff in your header that would help or okay. um, uh, 
I just lost what other I was going to say. What are some of the things you're talking about? Accessibility, performance. Mm -hmm. Does uh, Gatsby help with that at all? Yes, it does. So their build process they've optimized to already be green out of the box for a lot of these. So obviously okay. Gatsby isn't going to help you not forget like an alt tag on an image, but it's easy enough to go in and, right. and fix that. And then one of the other cool things is like if you use a lot of in images on your website, I joke about this because like I'm too lazy to do good typography. So I just throw photos everywhere and it looks good. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, but if you've missed optimizing your images, like um, Lighthouse will let you know that. But uh, Gatsby provides a lot of really great plugins to actually handle optimizing your images and do a nice blur load and everything like that. So it's just like for front end developer, all these problems that we've like had to like patch together and find different ways they've kind of like handled it so you're like oh i need to do this oh there's a plugin for that boom it just works i like that it just works so this is pretty cool a lot of people want to build a site in a hurry where do they go to find this uh gatsbyjs.com i think it I don't know, the Google machine, we'll, like where you find uh, we'll everything. We'll put a link to it in the show notes. <laughs> okay, here. you can also go to my blog at jenniferwadella.com to read all the dumb mistakes I built building my first Gatsby site. That's what my blog is about. It's <laughs> people learning from my mistakes. Yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, and so other so your blog is a great place to learn about it. Where's, where else is there? Uh, On where, the like, Twitter. Where did you learn about it? Oh, you know what? I think I met Jason, um, who is... Uh, I don't know what his exact title is. Gatsby awesome person oh, he um, he at Gatsby. a conference. And he was telling me about it. I was like, huh, okay. And then I don't remember. Oh, I was on fun employment and I was like, all right, I'm going to update my website and I'm going to move to Gatsby. And then I was like, Ooh, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh, excellent. So, all right. And what's next for you? Uh, you're, you're doing a lot of speaking these days. I see it internationally. It's terrifying. Yeah. So after this, I've got a prep for NDC London. I'm doing a talk on an accessibility tool called Pally, which is like a JavaScript um, command line tool uh -huh. that you can integrate in your build process. But more importantly, I have to prepare for my new PubConf talk. PubConf is good. Tell us what PubConf is. Um, so PubConf is an after conference um attendee party basically and they invite 10 speakers and it is ignite style talks and so that means you have five minutes 20 slides 15 seconds a slide and they auto progress you don't have a clicker you don't have control uh -huh. um and they're very funny tongue-in-cheek talks and um the theme for london is uh, a night of the movies and so all of our talks have to be movie themed okay and so i have chosen aliens okay because everybody else will choose deadpool yeah, um, I don't know. No, I don't just, know if there are any guessing. superhero movies in there, but um, my talk is all the basic front end shit. Dot net devs are too stupid to figure out, uh, and this is a very dot net heavy crowd, y'all. It's gonna be good. The word, is the phrase "it's game over, man" in your slide deck anywhere? Please, of course it is. Of course it is. Of yeah. course it is. I don't. I don't want to give away too much, but I'm uh -huh. like cackling <laughs> while I'm creating these slides. <laughs> Visual Studio, I am coming for you. Jennifer, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for this? Okay. I just love being at technology conferences with all my friends, having great conversations about how to fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs>